So this is swamp milkweed, uh, Asclepias incarnata, and this is one of the host plants for the monarch butterfly. And as you can see, it's not just a favorite of monarch caterpillars, but it's also a favorite of bees. Very nice green foliage. Uh, leaves are relatively long and narrow. And this is what the flowers look like. And this is how the flowers look when they're first starting to show buds. And I mean, this thing is loaded with bees right now. Just as popular with the bees right now as my butterfly bush. Matter of fact, I think there are more bees per flower on this plant as there are on the butterfly bush. It's very easy to grow so far. I planted this this past spring. I keep it watered. It does prefer a really moist soil in the wild. You'll find this in wet, swampy areas. But it, this is in my flower bed. Got it near a downspout here. Probably has some leaking uh, underground, so I'm sure it gets a little extra moisture here as well. And I also have Cosmos planted by seed as well as some cardinal flower, which also prefers wet areas, and that's also a native also. Uh, this video is several weeks after the original video that I shot. I just wanted to see how much it has grown and how many more blooms it has. Also, a common pest on swamp milkweed will be aphids. And as you can see, they like to grow up the stems near the buds. You can see some on the underside of the leaves there as well but this is a common issue and one of the easiest ways to take care of these aphids organically is to just knock them off with a water hose uh, they don't they don't do a very good job of climbing back onto the plant the plant is blooming profusely and very attractive to bees but again asclepius incarnata swamp milkweed great for the garden great for monarchs and great for pollinators and it's a native thanks for watching